It's a lovely fish lot, beautiful turbot. Beautiful. First time I've ever caught one, so I'm well sure that's what it is. Absolute beauty that guys. Look at the size of that. Five or six pound of that. Absolutely huge. Right fellas, good afternoon. Cod hunt number three, it's Sunday. Uh, the day after the Tyson Fury Nagano fight. <laughs> what a laugh that was, eh? We'll not get into that. It's uh 29th of October and it's one minute past four. 7.76 meter tad. We're on the River Umber. Uh, our tad is in exactly two hours and 40 minutes. It's absolutely rammed down here, fellas. Look at that down there. Look at all them. Absolutely packed. Uh, and I know there's more on the way, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a bit. Uh, Good chocker on here. The, the weed is horrendous. Uh, well, I'm not saying the weed, but I'll show you. If you can, you might be able to pick it up on camera. There's a lot of stuff floating by. Look, if you look on the camera. Look on there. See all the debris going by. Terrible. Bits of tree and everything going by. So, you know, it's not good. But um, we're here anyway. We're out looking for a cod. A few came out during the night, and there's a few being out today. Uh, spread from one, you know, south and north bank. Uh, Paul, been coming out from a bit from everywhere. I think even Vicky Doc had a look in as well. Um, one from Mr. Chews. Uh, it's been fishing all over, really. You know, it's starting to fill up with cod. So I'm still looking for my first one uh, this winter season. But obviously, I've had a nice bass. But obviously, that was another video. But um, let's hope we can get some uh, some bites. And Danny was on his tenth. Well. It's his 10th session today. Well, have you had 10 blanks? 11. Oh, he's, he's had 10 blanks and he's on his 11th session. Yeah, 11th blank. I've put him a short two-hook, two flapper on. Now, and I'm trying to get him some flatties <laughs> just to get him off the mark. So he's on a flatty rig. I mean, you still catch cod on it, we know, but he's on a flatty rig. Um, short traces. I am putting them long because there's too much debris in the water. Um, it's holding sort of. It's I cast it out at ten, and it's about between ten past and quarter past, believe it or not. So it, it has pulled to the right, but it has, it has stuck now. I just hope I haven't lost my gear because you can lose your gear really easy when you get pulled that far. But I mean, we're all in the same boat. It'll start holding in about another hour. It'll, it'll slow down. But I'm going to get you on the rod for now. I've only got one out. I've got two rods out, but only one's rigged up. The other one's ready to go, but um, just wants his rig on it and it's great. But I didn't want to put it on because obviously dog walkers and stuff and hooks flapping about doesn't look good, does it? So, on straight blacks at the moment, I brought plenty of blacks, but I have brought some uh, crab wing and uh, plenty of squid, dirty squid. So, so let's have a look. I wouldn't wash squid, whatever you want to call it. And let's just go and get off the mark first. And then uh, getting some uh, getting to some big fish. And I've got a little Halloween surprise for the viewers later. <clears throat> but we have got a special guest coming. Uh, Coco's coming later. Yeah. So uh, you might see Coco. He's going to join us for a session of fishing. So we'll see you later. But in the meantime, we're uh, oh, was that a little tickle? I think we've got a little tickle there. We nice to get off the mat with a little uh, tiny fish just to get us going. And then uh, see what else there is in off there. But I'm sure there's some big fish out there. Look at that big club going by. Look. It's half a beast. Also. Danny's promised me he's not going to uh, drop a few strains today. Because with it being, with it being packed on here, it'll go up wind and uh, it might lay a few anglers out down there. <laughs> so, you know, let's hope that he doesn't uh, drop any. But I had a lovely dinner, I ain't bothered, I had my big Yorkshire's and my beef and all that. So I'm happy, I've had my dinner before I come out. Danny's brought me a bag of crisps and a, a can of uh, orange, what is it? Orange Zero, whatever it is. Ooh! I've got to go in the back of that. 
I was lucky that, wasn't it? Let's grab that rub there, fellas. It, uh, it's not a bite, it's just that the, uh, the chance caught it. Let me just pull it back a little bit. <laughs> that bit might catch it there. Because there's some really big chunks going by and I just don't want them to catch my line. There's a big branch there, look, so watch your rod on that one. It's just a matter of watching your, your rod, Danny. Just keep your eye on your rod, because if something big gets it, it'll pull it in. Oh, that just missed you, that, 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 that tree mate, it's it. What tree, what, is it on land with man? That little branch, yeah. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's direct. It I've got a branch towering left land with me, yeah. I think it's just going to go by, innit? Maybe, yeah. Go on, go by. <laughs> it's a close one, this. Go on, go by. It's very close. Oh, it tickled it. Oh. Sorry. Guys, it was saved there. There was a <laughs> great big branch just went by and it missed my land by about, well, it actually brushed it and caught it. Well, look, it's old anyway. It's only about 15 metres out, if that, but it's old. That's the main thing. You know, we know cod come in close, so, because we had them in close, so we're not bothered. I've come out to get a video because this is going up on Tuesday. Um, it's now Sunday, obviously. So I need this video. So I'm hoping there's some fish in it because I don't want to put you a blank up after having some cracking sessions in the last few. So let's keep the momentum going. And will this be the day that Danny breaks his cherry? <laughs> if not, Coco will break it. So let's hope so. I was going to bring a flask and I forgot the bloody thing, as you do. Always something you forget, isn't they? At least I brought you one here. Yeah, he brought me a drink, luckily, because all I, all I brought with me today, to last me a while, about seven or eight, is that. About a bloody inch of lemonade, maybe two at the most. It's got to last me all night. So luckily, he's brought me a can, so I'll save that for later. I don't drink a lot anyway when I'm fishing, so... I could say the same. <laughs> well, uh, keep an eye on your rod because you won't get a bite if you're not looking at it, will you? Or you won't see the bite. So that for lighter. Blood torch. Grenade. I mean, it's a nice ish day. I mean, when I come, when I went out the house, it was lovely. Got halfway to Danny's up East Hill and, er, uh, absolutely pouring down it absolutely lathered it down and then um halfway back here sun's out again i mean that's what you've got over your end look at that beautiful so just shows you it down at my end, wasn't it? just shows you just two or three mile difference and it looks like a big storm's just passed from paul and bp and that so looks like they've had a, a drenching over there well i'm only near the ferry out here over there yeah a bit dark over there. Well, there's Paul Forest over there. Can you see it? Yeah. There'll be a few pick fishing on there today. That is a fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of anglers. The bottom end's full, isn't it? Yeah. Andy's turning up shortly. Um, he'll have to go there near that lamp post. But he's going to have to fish where, where, more or less near where I am because it's, uh, it's absolutely ram down here. It's packed. <coughs> Could be a good spot here without there, do we? No, I don't know what it's like here. Them kids fished here the other day, didn't they? Oh, last night, wasn't it? No, oh, the, other no, day, it was it? the other day when we turned up for yeah, a session. Yeah, two days ago, wasn't it? I turned up for a session a couple of days ago, but I didn't film it. Um, what are they on about? Like that? What is it? I just think it's a bit of debris going by. It does look like it's starting to hold up a little bit now, doesn't it, out there? Bans, choppy, though. Bans, yeah, it's very choppy. 
when you when you really landing, don't lift your rod right straight up in the air because you're very caught. It's just going to swing towards the wall if you do it that way. Well, if I don't catch a fish today, I'm going to throw you in so you can catch one. Well, I think we've got a Christmas special with the YouTubers this year, but I don't know where it is and what we're going to actually be doing. Um, I don't have a clue. I mean, last year's was a laugh. It was only Santa suits, wasn't it? Yeah, it won't be Santa's this year, though. We've got um, Grinch. Be somewhere else, and somewhere else, whatever, whatever we decide to do. Might be Mankinis. <laughs> Might be shorts and flip flops, we don't know yet, and string vests. Could be anything fishnet bodysuit <laughs> yeah it could be a fishnet bodysuit could all turn up dressed as share a reincarnation of the uh, the video if you can turn back time sat on a gun <laughs> <laughs> might as well just turn up naked could be anything swing your choppers about yeah it could be them naked fishermen and we won't get many viewers like but it'll be fun won't be able to put that on youtube would you no, you'd have to go on porn up. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get more views on there anyway. You get paid for your videos on there, don't you? <laughs> I don't know, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> you should know how much you get. <laughs> I was tempted to go on there. Oh, it's all funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's all funny. You should set up an OnlyFans page for fishing. Yeah, we should have an OnlyFans page, <laughs> don't you think? The Naked Fisherman. I think it'd be good. Tell you what, I'm starting to bug me a lot. You know Paul, I mean, we all go fishing Paul, don't we? And that road down to Paul car park now is atrocious. I mean, I've done my springs on it twice now. Uh, our kids done his as well. I mean, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. I don't know why. You don't get it sorted out, whether it's the residents or the, or the, I don't know, they've got their own council there or not, I don't know. But, um, why don't they put a barrier on there and charge a quid or something per car? I mean, come on, let's be honest, I wasn't be bothered about a quid. That pound then could go into the fund, they could re resurface all that road and keep it in good shape, couldn't they? What do you think? Yeah. You could put a toilet on the car park, portable toilet, whatever, and we'd be laughing, wouldn't you? You'd have a nice road. Nice toilet on there, you'd be laughing. Why don't it don't when it done? Why don't people thought about this? A little barrier at the end, and we know how to that. Residents can have have a, a, a well coming out, you can just have it on in for red car you auto. Coming in, you just need to obviously slot a quid in the meter or whatever. Simples, isn't it? So what a slot of quid or pay back by your uh, phone or something. Have a swipe thing on it. I mean, come on, what's a quid? Nothing, is it? I'd certainly pay a quid to go on there and fish, going down a nice road to the car park, and there's a toilet on there and everything. I mean, the days you get get the money to cover it, the amount of people that use it. Because that road is terrible on there. I mean, it's absolutely atrocious. I mean, they do the car park now and again and fill that in, and they put the uh, wooden wooden barriers at the front up again now and again but they never touch that road and it's awful it's just going to get worse and worse and now winter's here and all these uh, potholes are going to fill with snow and, and rain and everything it's going to be terrible I mean it's easy to break your springs down there because they're not meant to do that these cars are off road Right, I've had a little rant and I'm going to um, I'm going to turn off for now and I'm going to save the battery for all the fish I'm going to catch, hopefully. Back in a bit. Right, dear.
looked like a bike, didn't it, that? Yeah. Well, that was unlucky, fellas. <laughs> You've seen the weed, look. That's the weed we've got. And the old uh, tissue fish. But that's what we're contending with. She's uh, calming down a little bit now, though. Right, I'm going to come off while I sort all this out, but I'll be back. It looked like you had a fish there, but you never know, I might get one. Right, fellas, just brought you back. I was going to come back a few seconds earlier, but Danny just let one go and knocked a few fishermen over near Macro. So I waited until the, uh, the air had cleared. But uh, Coco's on his way anyway, Coco the clown, and he's going to fish with us for a bit. So it should be fun. He said he's coming for an Halloween special and uh, he's coming as Coco the Clown. I'm not going to tell you who it is, in, in, who it is but it's uh, somebody very famous. And uh, he's actually been on TV. But he's coming to pay us a special visit for half an hour, he said. So hopefully uh, he might help Danny catch a fish. He might give him the Coco special. <laughs> Coco special. Well, I've got both rods out now, as you can see. Look at this. Both rods out. They're both 35 metres ish now. Both holding. Bang on. Six ounces, all on black lug, all on three hook. Special pattern osters that I make. The one that I caught the big bass on last week. So I'm hoping that they do the business again. There's a few of my subscribers fishing to the right of me. I didn't get the names because I didn't have really time to chat to them. But I'm sure, as the session grows on, I'll pop down there and get the names and have a chat. But they had seen the video anyway, so... But I will have a chat with them. I've just got to get settled first, because... Uh, like the other night, I just didn't have time to settle. I was, I was blowing in. I was, I was out of breath, I'll tell you. So by the time I set my gear up and walked from the can, got all my gear here and set it all up, and then the bloody rod went. So then I reeled that in, and then the other rod went, and blah, blah, blah. I didn't have time to sit down. And I, had a, I already had a chest infection, it's cleared up a little bit now, but I had a really bad chest infection, I was wheezing real bad, and uh, but it seems to have cleared up a little bit now. So let's hope. But I am suffering from long Covid, that's what I've been diagnosed with. It's the second time I got it, it just didn't seem to go. So, so I've had that for a while, that's why my voice went a bit deeper. You know, if you check about six months ago, I wasn't talking as deep as this. It's just basically, Covid knackered me up a bit. So, but uh, I'm sure it'll disappear at some point. But it's probably it's probably the 35 years of smoking that I did. Yeah, smoking that, 20 and 30 a day. Off the yeah, yeah, it's probably the 25, 30. Well, 35 years of smoking I did. Um, obviously I don't smoke now but I smoke for 35 years I've actually got a COPD test on the 11th of November down Nezzle Road at some bloody hospital I don't know where it is some medical centre or something I've never even been so I don't know where it is I'll find it I've got to go on one of them bloody blowing machine things to see if it's COPD um, and we'll find out won't we but uh, that's what you, when you get older and you've smoked all your bloody life that's what happens to you but as I say it's, it's alright today you know I was fit as a flea today but as I say the other night it was terrible Coco just messaged me 10 minutes away Coco's 10 minutes away apparently ladies and gents so um, don't let the kids watch the next well in the next 10 minutes or so because if they don't like clowns like terrifying clowns it's like that, that one from It Stephen King's it, it's like him. So, you know, I'd stay well clear. If you've got kids watching, it's time to uh, get them out of the room for half an hour when he gets when he uh, arrives. But we're hoping Danny gets a fish because come on, you can't do 11 I blanks, surely. At least, don't I, I mean, I don't know anybody that's done 11 blanks on the trot, I don't even know anybody who's done 10. <laughs> It's black straight through at the moment, three up pattern osters. I've got black straight through with three up pattern osters. On two oars. Just half a worm on each, not too much like. <clears throat> I 
But uh, top of town, or just before it, I'll bang a full worm on each. Like, but we're not wasting them at the moment because, uh, you know, there's a lot of drag and it's pulling. Ooh, is that a bite or did it just let go? Might be in your great wall. Could have been. Catch a yeah, I think it just, uh, just flicked. Now, if it had been a beach, you'd have thought you'd have had a, a cod on that. I'm keeping an eye on it though, because I'll bring you down here a little bit and keep an eye on that rod. I'm keeping an eye on it because it is actually uh, it's giving me a bit of uh, <coughs> concern of the way it's biting and pulling. Do you think we should have a fanfare if Danny catches a fish? <laughs> I think you should do a twerk or something, don't you? If he gets a fish. A twerk? <laughs> yeah, do, do a flatty twerk or something, or a, a whiting twerk. Some kind of hula dance or something. <laughs> if you catch a fish. I'll do that dance. Yeah, do that will do, yeah, do one of them. Because uh, it'll be cause for celebration, won't it? It'll be like England winning the World Cup since 1966. There's a bit of wind today, I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but um, it's whistling through the land, you can hear it playing me a tune. You know, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not tempting my fate, but it was like this the other night when I got that bass. The, the, the sea conditions is about the same. It's holding about where it was, and uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't know, do you, mate? We all, I mean, there's loads down here. I mean, I'm looking to the right of me, and there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen rods in the space of 150 meters. I mean, if there's any fish out there, they've got to go through the gauntlet, yeah, haven't they? Right yeah, cast it 10 o'clock, 30 yards. Eh? Cast it 30 yards, 10 o'clock, and it'll hold up straight. Six ounces. Well, cast it off back road, it's all right. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Is it for me Coco's a rabbit. <laughs> he's just pulled up in his car. Coco's coming. Come on, Coco, come and pay him a visit. Come on, Coco. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco's around. Hello there, my friend. He's come fishing to see if he can uh, get Danny and help Danny get a fish. We shall catch some fishes. It's all good, isn't it? Coco the clown. There don't seem to be any any out there. No. Coco's gone to pay Andy a visit down there, look. <laughs> Coco's gone to pay Andy a visit. I say there's 18 rods out, fellas, or well, 17. That I can see anyway, but I mean, further up, there'll be more than that, because it's rammed. You know, where it's got out, that there's bass and cod coming out, and it's gone rampant. Right, I'm going to take a little break, fellas, for now, and I'll be back uh, if we get any action on these rods, or if Danny gets a bite, and then we'll have a chat with Coco. Got a bite, fellas. Hiya. Yeah. Thought I had a bite. Well, it's not handy. <coughs> I think I've lost, man. Yeah. I've lost it. Really? Yeah, trapped me in. I can't re rigging it. <laughs> yeah, it's took my line off. Lost the full lot. I'm down to one rod now, yeah. Casting it out. Can't be asked. 
got no more rigs anyway. I've gone down to one rod first because I haven't really looked at it now, it's got to be heavy, so I'll go down to one of I'll be back there, one rod. I'll be back for you. Well, we're back. Um, not much happening. Uh, lost a lot of gear, lost two sets of gear. In fact, have I lost two or three? Three. Lost three sets of gear. Um, basically, it's crap in the bit I'm in. Uh, it's, it's a gear fest. But i um, gone down to one rod. I've had to swap rigs because them lovely new rigs I made I've lost them all. <laughs> so I'm down to two pound Osters now, standard, with uh, three O's on. And uh, I'm, I'm still on black lug. Um, it's about 35 minutes to high tide. So now we're hoping it's prime time. It's six o'clock now, so we're hoping it's prime time uh, to get the bite. But nobody, I mean, we're all down here, nobody's had a fish yet. It's weird really, you'd think, you know, somebody don't have a fish. It's, I think it's one of them times where there's now a boat. I don't know why, but... But it's like, that's what like it is around here. You can uh, come one night and it's red hot, and come another night and it's uh, not. Simple. Yeah, no one else has had no one, have But nobody's pulled out while well, I've been here, and I've said there's 17 rods out. I don't know what they're doing at the other end. But I'm sure it'd have filtered down if anybody had caught out. But uh, I mean, as I say, it's about 40 minutes to high, so how could happen really? I mean, it could just turn on. And it has done that on numerous occasions here, so just a matter of uh, waiting and hoping, really. But it's easier to pull because I've only got one more. <laughs> I know what I do need to do when I get uh, some time, and it's went to my box, I'll sort it out because. The amount of stuff I've got in this box is ridiculous, man. <laughs> Can't find a thing in it. So I'm going to thin it out a little bit. Because it's in bad shape at the moment. But it's getting to the point, nearly, where you can flick it out 80, 90 metres. But I don't seem to be a piece of anything tonight, I don't know why. But I mean, I fished it once before here, a few months ago, and it was eight, eight points of a metre tide. And it fished rubbish then as well. And it's a 7.76 or something tonight, which is not far off eight, so, you know, maybe when it's a big tide, it fishes rubbish like. Yeah, it's uh, not fishing well at the moment. Not even had a sniff of a bite. But I want to get a bit of footage because uh, I need a video up for this Tuesday anyway. Why don't we try change bait? Well, we can do, but I mean, at the end of the day, if you're not catching on black lug, you're not going to catch on milk really, either, because it's the go-to bait on here. I mean, you can try some squid and um, cat if you want. I put some squid on. I'll pull it in and put some squid on. I've already got one up there now because I lost enough. Well, it doesn't matter, you've still got a look out there. I know, but two ups is better, isn't it? Well, as long as you've got a look out there, that's the main thing, isn't it? When you fish a panel, you've only got one, so. And that seems to work. I 
I'll leave you on here for a little bit and then I'll uh, take a little break but just to see what's going on. So there is a bit of wind wake. I mean another seven or eight days it's smaller tans. Oh I've got a fish! Oh guys, you call it right, he's got his broke his duck. Let's have a look. Fly. Look at this. Yay. Look at that, this. He's got his first fish. Danny has got himself a flounder. Did you know you had it? No, I didn't even. No. I, I was just speaking then. I said, oh. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's been yapping. He's been yapping so you no, didn't I just know you said, had it. I'm trying to grab it, but he won't well, let me have it. it. No, I just said I'll pull it in and put some squid on because so I'm doing it. Look, Danny has actually oh, caught himself. He's caught himself a flounder. <laughs> Yeah, can't Brock, believe it, he's, he's, he's broke his duck family. Yeah, he changed your rig. On a two-up flapper. No, it's the same rig, but I lost enough. Right, take a little break while I sort this out for him. I'm back and uh, I want extra likes for this video because Danny is actually broke. His, his 10 Street session of blanks. He's finally got his first fish and what a whopper he was, a massive fly. To him it was massive because it's the biggest one he's ever had. But uh, no, I'm glad he's got his fish. I mean, me and Andy are still blanking, and so are the other nine anglers down here. But uh, he's caught a fish at least. But we're about, we're about 30 metres. There he is, look. Come to see you. Look at this. Come on, come and show him your face. There's Danny with his big smile on his face because he caught a fish. And uh, <laughs> Ooh, flatty! <laughs> he's caught a fish, so he's the only one caught at the moment down here. So it's all good. So I lost that virginity. Yeah, he's lost his virginity on the fishing uh, side of it, like. So, I'm going to get you back on the rods for a little bit. Because we're only about 25, 30 minutes from top. I'm sure it's slack anyway, the time might be wrong, I don't know, but... It looks slack now at the minute. It does look slack, but you can never tell where it's wrong, do you? Oh, you're off again, you've got a bite. You just had a fish. Hold on. I've just seen it going. Keep on my rods a minute, fellas, but um, I've just seen Danny's rod go like the flappers. If he's got a second fish, I'll really will laugh. <coughs> Keep an eye on your rod, because it really did go. Come on, now, it's 15 metres. That's far enough, it's great. Believe it or not, Danny's just had another knock on his rod. <laughs> but it'd be ironic if he gets two fish and two cats and he's on ten sessions with that one. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? Well, it's a bit of a weird night tonight because it was forecast. There was forecast um, about 53 degrees, but it's nowhere, never been nowhere near that. I don't know if it's the wind chill or not, but it's been nowhere near 50 odd degrees, nowhere near. I'm all about Danny's bike because I did see it go. He's on squid and I'm still on black plug. That says straight out that though, yeah. 12 o'clock. I may have gone squid myself yet, I don't know, for the last half an hour or so. Or I. Well, when you pull it in, bang a bit of squid on. I'll put a bit I was thinking of bit, putting a bit of carton squid on. I'll put, put a lug on one and squid on the other. I might try that actually, but if squid and carton on one and lug on the other. That wasn't you, was it, Danny? That was you, definitely. That was definitely you, Mr. Methane. I've not had no tea today, so I've got no reason exactly, to Exactly, you've got some need churning out. I've got no reason to pump. Mine had scrolls. I had a knock dinner today, like a nice Sunday dinner with everything but minus the sprouts. A 
cauliflower cheese instead with it. So it's all good. Ooh. Look at Danny's rod. I did see it go though. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange night for bites tonight, very strange. Because looking at the sea you'd think there'd be plenty of cod in there. But uh, I think you get them when you're not expecting them half the time. You look at the sea and you think, nah, I don't want to get much out of there today, but then you end up carrying them and then when it is good sea, it looks like you're gonna get some, you never get them to get them. <coughs> Hey, the last video went well anyway, I sat had about 3,600 views, I've got loads of subs off it. Guys, I'm 23 short now with 3,000, so, you know, if you're, if you're watching and you aren't sub, just click that sub button, it doesn't cost anything, and uh, it's going to help me a great deal, I want to get to 3,000. And don't forget to hit the like button, because Danny got his first fish tonight, after blanking 10 times, so it deserves double likes. Definitely does. He's now no longer a fishing virgin. <coughs> He's gone up there to talk to the others now to celebrate his win with his massive platy.
furnace. Just got five days in the power line to fill you quick. Five days in the power line. It's quick up there. It's quick up there. It's massive, that. Yeah, that's what I'm high up in, isn't it? There's no weed anywhere now. You might think that looks horrible, Danny, but it's a uh, prime bait, that. Oh, yeah. He's trying to kill my rod. That was me, that. Well, obviously, yeah. there's only you there. Well, I can't see down here, can I? You're here one with a rod, a light. I didn't think it... Because it's stuck in the wall, that's why. I didn't think it was that close then. I've got a uh, carton squid on now and black on the other rod, on the other. So I'm going to cut off there for now. Well, Danny wrecked the gear because he keeps walking off my rod because it's across the pathway. And I'll be back if I get a fishy. We're back, it's going to be a shortish video because uh, now what happened, it's just starting to rain. The time is now. Let's have a look at the time, I don't even know myself. The time is now. 19.08 which is 10 past 7 so it's time's been going out half an hour now um, nothing happening Danny's had a fish I've not had a bite to be honest with you I thought he had a bite a minute ago but I think it was just pull nobody else has caught anything that I've seen only Danny which is unreal because he's never caught fish for 10 sessions Well, this is probably going to be the last cast dish because uh, there's no happening. But it's going to be a short video, but I don't care because at least you've got Danny catching the fish on it and stuff like that. There's a lot of weed coming out now, and all the shrapnel that went past us earlier, and it's dark now. And you can't see what's going by, and it's ripping out really fast. So it won't be long before I vanish. But. Uh, Probably this video will be about 30 minutes if that. The candy's just lost his gear. No, he hasn't, it's got it back. 
Looks like there's some kind of fire across the water, some water black smoke coming up, I don't know where it's from. Looks like it's from Immingham or somewhere like that. But uh, yeah, I can't see it staying much longer. Could be the last cat. Never intended to stay quite long anyway because I knew all that shrapnel would come back out and then 7.7 yards, so. So I'm going to probably vanish for now. Um, I mean, I've enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, it's been alright. I've lost a bit of gear, like. But I'm um, just glad that Danny's got off his blank. Uh, so I'm going to say, well, I'm going to say goodbye from me for now, but I'll be back again this week sometime on a day session. Further up, I'm going to go further up, um, way past the sand. Uh, it'll be a day session on a smaller tad. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get some, some good fish. I might go to Paul anyway, yeah, I'm diverting. So until next time from me, I hope you enjoyed your little uh, 40 minutes or so. Uh, don't forget to give us a double like at the end because Danny caught that fish, so he deserves one. So until next time from me, Danny and Coco the Clown and Andy, it's, uh, it's a good night. If I catch another fish in the meantime, I'll put it on the video at the end. Goodbye. Goodbye.